Hi there, these are my geraniums and I'm going to be taking some cuttings off them so basically this is a good time in spring is to remove all the old flying shoots don't worry they'll um, come back with some new flowers later on in the year and summer and I'm just going to remove them all and then I'll show you what to do, how to take the cuttings from now I think geraniums arguably is one of my favourite plants um, they're really nice, they're almost like succulents, they're nice and thick and they're also known as pelagoniums if I say it right um, geraniums it's basically a mistaken word for it but what you're going to do is basically snap it off if you can see there and pull off most of the foliage like that so you leave two buds there to make sure that all the light is focusing where it's going to be growing so if I show you again here it's very easy I'll move the camera so you can see I'll just snap it off like that and pull off like that and there's another cutting so I'm just going to go along carrying on like this it's another one now you do need pretty um, free well free draining soil when you're doing this or compost so that's what you need to get if you don't have any it makes it obviously work better it's going to be my last one about here and also another good thing about doing this in the, in spring is that you're still leaving time for new shoots to grow back flush back and you'll be able to get some more flowers and more cutting material later on for autumn time so I think those are my five cuttings and we're going to go up to solar tunnel now and I'll show you the next steps Now then, with these six geranium cuttings, um, here I've got some more spirea cuttings, um, you've got rid of most of the foliage, and look, I got my hands on some honey, so I'm really pleased about that, so please, instead of using this routine hormone, turn organic, go green and use honey, and that's the spirit I, will, I always want to be in now to be environmentally friendly I'm mostly amber just back onto geraniums now well I firmed down some of the compost and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use a finger as a dibber push it down most of the way and then with one of the cuttings this is what I'm gonna do to just dip it slightly just the bottom in some honey and then place it in like that there you have a geranium cutting so I'll just carry on doing all of these and then I'll show you what I'm going to do with them now then these are my geranium cuttings and what I'm going to do is to make the soil nice and moist and keep them I say about a propagator with underneath heat Make sure that the compost you're using is a uh, very nice free draining cutting compost. If not, you could use soil added with some sand or a fine grit. And so remember, keep them moist. And or you could also use like what I'm doing with my roses here is to create a mini miniature greenhouse. Um, and then uh, that's how you propagate geraniums from cuttings. So. I'm uh, hoping for this to work and soon I'll be getting some more geraniums, geranium plants for more geranium cuttings and that's how you propagate them from basically springtime greenery cuttings. Thank you very much for watching, please subscribe, I hope that you enjoy some of my videos on my channel, uh, rate and comment please and thank you very much for watching Hughes Nursery, goodbye.